Hello Internet, Aldros here and uh, today today I wanted to show you all of this oh yes all of this uh, this is my main collection shelf um, now I'm not gonna be showing you every single individual item here I'm just gonna be showing uh, I don't know just gonna give you a quick tour uh, like I said this is my main connect collection shelf and um, well uh, I'll, I'll be talking about most of these things in future episodes but again I just wanted to give you a quick tour on this um, before I begin I want to apologize if the audio quality is not good enough um, I'm using a different microphone this time, so I'm not sure how well or how badly it will go. I'll try to clean it in post, of course, but yeah. Uh, like I said, I'm just gonna give you a quick tour. I'm not gonna be going in any specific order, and I'll try to keep this nice and uh, short. So let's dive in, shall we? Uh, let's see, I'm just gonna get into the ground. Uh, there you go. So over here, bottom right corner, this is what I call Arigas Corner. Um, let me zoom in over here a little bit. So, or, or well, this used to be Arigas Corner, not anymore. <laughs> because, well, as you can see, actually, let me get a little bit closer. Uh, so all of this are mangas by Hitoshi Ariga, and so are all of this. But these two things are not mangas by Hitoshi Ariga. Um, I'm running desperately low on space, so um, I'm doing whatever I can to, you know, utilize what little space I have. Um, I'll be showing some of this in future episodes. I just wanted to give you a quick look at what I have here. Uh, this is Rockman Mani uh, Maniac. Maniacs, Rockman Maniacs. Uh, I don't know what they mean by that, <laughs> but yeah, that's what this is. And uh, I have no clue what it is because it's in Japanese, and as far as I know, it has not been translated. So, yeah, again, I'll be showing all of this, probably all of this. I don't know if there is gonna, I'm gonna be showing Ariga's work in the future, but yeah, so that's Ariga's corner, and a little bit over here. You probably already saw this in a past episode. Uh, these are, hang on, look oh, oh, aside. These are the Rockman X. Oh gosh, um, the Rockman X mangas by Takamisa Kirio. This is the rerun um, in Japan. Um, episodes, sorry, volumes one through eight. There was another manga that was more like the. Uh, like the anime and uh it also had a rerun for some reason uh i don't know if i should show those on a new episode or i'm just gonna show them all to you right now very quickly so here are um all three volumes as you can see there uh these are the rerun volumes and there were only three of them interestingly though the original run was four volumes so I guess they did the same thing where they um, combine multiple volumes into a single volume I don't know again I, my Japanese is not enough to be able to read this stuff so it kind of beats me <laughs> uh, over here there are some uh, strategy guides and uh, illustration books um, you know, I'm, I'm gonna try to speed this up because if I'm gonna be showing you every single thing that's here, I'm gonna be doing this <laughs> forever. Um, down here, we. Oh, sorry, I'm talking too close to the microphone. Uh, down here, yeah, more mangas. These are Mega Man X mangas, and there are more strategy guides and Mega Man Eight mangas. And uh, um, what else do we have here? More strategy guides for old games. Uh, and more mangas. <laughs> uh, no, this is also a strategy guide. And there is, oh, look at that. There is Mega Man 2 Wars of Worlds of Power. Um, 
this is like I don't know if it's a hidden gem, but it's a, a very unknown thing. Uh, I don't know if I'm gonna show that in the future, honestly. Uh, a little bit up here, uh, this thing that you're looking at right now, this is the uh, Mega Man E can. Uh, this contains, this is actually metal by the way. Um, contains OSTs for Mega Man's 1 through 10, if I recall correctly. Um, I may be showing those in the future. I think I already did in a long, long time ago in a stream far, far away. And over here, more strategy guides, more mangas, and more strategy guides, and more mangas. You can clearly see that I'm actually just running out of the space here. I don't know where to put these things. So like, for example, here I have the. Uh, Mega Man Legacy Collection 1 and 2 for Switch and also uh, Mega Man Maverick uh, sorry Mega Man Maverick Hunter X or well in Japan it's just called Maverick Hunter X this is the original version um, I don't have a space for them so over here here is where I keep all the Rockman X mangas in English uh, this is the man the version by Takamisa Kirio as you can see there um, let's see if I can zoom a little bit there you go and more mangas, uh, there is uh, Ryusei no Rokuman, Koriga uh, Rokuman, Rokuman and Forte volumes 1 and 2, Rokuman 8 volume, uh, what is this volume? Sorry, I can barely see. Um, uh, Rokuman 8 volumes 1 and 2, Rokuman original uh, 1 volume. Over here, more mangas. Um, this is the original run of the Rokuman X manga. And again, Rockman 4, 5, 6, 7, uh, Rockman World 3, this is the Game Boy version, these are all mangas. Um, I don't think I have a complete collection of these things. Um, well, definitely don't have a complete because I don't have 1, 2, and 3. Uh, but I don't know how many volumes there are for each one of these things. Uh, let me see if I can zoom a little bit so that you can see a little better. There you go. And uh, yeah, sorry if you hear background noises, by the way, there is a construction going on close by <laughs> and there's a lot of noise over here. This thing, uh, this thing is an OST for uh, Mega Man X7. It's supposed to be with this stuff, but as you see, I also ran out of space there. What are you two? Uh, what are these two? Uh, this is strategy guide for Mega Man 8 and this is, oh, you probably haven't even heard about this one. This is a all four uh, episodes of. Um, oh, sorry, this uh, camera is a little heavy. Um, this is all four episodes of the Dream Dreamwave uh, comic. This was launched a long, long time ago. This was before Archie Comics, and uh, it was not successful at all. <laughs> So it says volume one right here, but that's volume only. It's more like, yeah, that's the only volume that actually came out. Um, moving on. Let me just put these things back. Um, uh, over here, uh, let me move a little bit closer. Uh, yeah, so all of these things are OSTs, original soundtracks I have for multiple, multiple things. You may have noticed there is this little thing sticking out. I have a project of taking pictures of everything in my collection, like this. And those little stickies let me remind me of the things that I have not taken pictures of. So that's what those little things are. Uh, my camera is having a hard time focusing, but yeah, I have tons of OSTs as you can see. Let me see if I can zoom instead of moving close. There you go. Can you focus now, camera? There you go. Good camera. That's a good camera. Um, yeah, so those are all my OSTs. Uh, moving on a little bit on the left. Um, zoom out. Uh, this is just everything. <laughs> uh, it's a collection of everything. Uh, there is PlayStation 2 games, PlayStation 4 games. There is... Um, PlayStation uh, PSP games. Uh, this is actually a sound box and I'm hearing noises in the background. Yes. Uh, you can see there is, I, I think this is my one Xbox game, Mega Man Anniversary Collection for the Xbox. 
This is the original Xbox, by the way, not Xbox 360 or Xbox One or any of that stuff. This is the very first Xbox. And yeah, those are uh, pretty much all the games that are kind of DVD sized. That's what these things are. A little bit on the left. Uh, oh yeah, I will be showing this in the future. This is Mega Man Battle Network 5 for the Game Boy Advance. This is actually a little bit big if you you probably cannot tell, but if you compare to this is a Game Boy Advance, sorry, Nintendo DS uh, uh, box, you can see that this thing is quite big. So I'll be showing those in a future episode. Um, moving on, um, I think we missed this side over here. So here's where the OSTs are. Above them is where all my PlayStation games are. Um, you can see I have quite a few. I'll be showing a few of these in the future too. Uh, where are you? Uh, yeah, so I'll be showing a few of those in the future. And above those, you have... Uh, let me see if I can zoom instead of getting closer. Uh, this is, well, from right to left. Um, Mega Man X7 is here because I don't have a space for it. Uh, but this is really my fan music um, collection. There isn't that many of them, but there is also Mega Man Legacy Collection for PlayStation 4, and that's, again, lacking space. I'm running out of space, desperately low on space. I'll be showing some of that music in the future too, so don't worry. Uh, this episode is already taking way longer than I anticipated, so I'm gonna try to move on. Um, these are more PlayStation games and these are some random stuff. These are GameCube games here in the middle, by the way. Rockman X Transmission and Rockman X Command Mission. Over here, uh, we have... What is this? Yeah, more DVD-sized stuff. Uh, Sega Saturn. Uh, this watch over here, by the way. That thing over there, that's a... Um, reward from the Red Ash Majisika the anime Kickstarter. That's a very nice thing to have. What's going on here? Hang on, my... Okay, sorry, my, my camera was acting up. So yeah, there are some videos I'll, showing, I'll be showing some of those in the future. And over here, this is my Nintendo DS games collection. All of them are Mega Man games, obviously. Um, yeah, that's all of them. I think this is as close as you can get to a complete collection of Mega Man D games on DS. I am not entirely sure if I'm missing a special edition or some stuff like that. Um, but yeah, maybe I'll show some of those in the future. Let me stand up and get a chair. Uh, yeah, that works. Uh, these are... This, oh, sorry, again, too much noise around here. These are... Um, what Capcom calls uh, sound boxes uh, for different uh, series. There's two for Mega Man, Mega Man X, and then this is um, Rockman X, yeah. Um, these are basically just OSTs. Um, moving on to the right, uh, these are my uh, original NES Japanese Mega Man games along with a uh, this is an exclusive Kickstarter reward for uh, Mighty Number no. 9. Uh, that's the USB NES version. And as you can see a little bit to the right of that, these are two PC games of Mega Man. The two Mega Man games on PC. <laughs> uh, I'll, I will probably show those in the future. Moving on to the right. Hmm. These are... Let me just zoom out. Uh, not too much. Uh, uh, um, these are some 4-inch Nell uh, action figures, whatever you want to call them. I call them dolls because that's what they are. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I have, I have plenty more. Um, I just don't have a space for them here. Uh, you can see that I also have other games here, like this is uh, PSP, uh, Mega Man Legends 1 and 2, and then there's Mega Man Legacy Collection. <laughs> on Switch, and yeah, so I, I, I need more space, really. Over here, you probably noticed before, I have like 20 different copies of Mighty Number no. 9, and before you ask why in places will you have 20 different copies of Mighty Number no. 9, the answer is, um, you see when 
Deep Silver uh, right here. Deep Silver, the company that's distributing my number nine. Let me see if I can zoom again. Yeah, this company, Deep Silver, they are the ones distributing Mighty Number no. 9. They are a European company, and because of that, they work uh, very closely with Europe. And uh, they did this thing where they launched the game in multiple languages in Europe. For example, this one says, uh, Un clásico de azione japonese reinventato. Um, probably you can't read it because the camera refuses to focus. <laughs> uh, let me see if I can zoom in a little bit. I need two hands. I, I need an extra pair of hands. <laughs> um, like I was saying, uh, there you go. Un clásico side scroller di azione japonese reinventato. So this is in Italian. Uh, if you keep looking here, you'll find something like. Japanese action retro size crawler transfer. Yes, yeah, the German. Um, then you have uh, the, this thing in French, and then there is. Uh, can you focus? Classic Japanese size crawler action transform. That's English. And then there is also. Acción clásica japonesa de desplazamiento lateral transformada. Español. Sorry, that was Spanish. Um, yeah, so they did that thing. Um, sorry, my, I'm clipping again. They did that thing for uh, Wii. And then, you know, there's all the languages for Wii. And then there's all the same stuff for PlayStation 4. And then they did the same thing for Xbox One. Xbox One. And then they did the same thing for PC. Oh, there's another one over here for Wii. What is this? This is also English. Huh. Oh, but this is the American version. Uh, so you can see that there is the ESRB rating there. Well, these other ones have the PEGI rating here. So. <laughs> Yeah, so that's that's what this is. I have the European and the American versions and I have them for Wii, for PlayStation 4, for Xbox One and also for PC. Interestingly, there is no English version of the game for PC. Um, the only English version that you can get is the backer exclusive version. Um, I don't know why they decided to do that, but that's that's what it is. Um, you can find it in any other language, uh, uh, Italian, French, and whatnot. So, yeah, moving on, because, again, this video is getting way longer than I expected. <laughs> um, over here, you have uh, mostly SNES. Oh, well, this is NES, as Japanese SNES, N64. <laughs> uh, yeah, lack of a space. Uh, this thing in the middle here, let me zoom in. Uh, this thing in the middle here, this is... Uh, Rockman XF 4.5 uh, is a special edition that comes with a card reader. Again, I might be showing that one in the future. Up here, this is uh, Game Boy games, Rockman World uh, 1 through 5, all of them. And then there is Wonder Swan, Wonder Swan Color, and Power. Uh, what is this? Neo Geo Pocket Color. And then this, there is this very nice figure over here. Um, Tamashi Nations, I believe, is the name of the thing. Bye Bandai, come on, come on, focus camera, focus, you can do this, yes, there you go. Um, yeah, so moving a little bit on the right side, this is all of my Game Boy Advance games, um, well, almost all of them, this is all of the Battle Network ones, and you can see I only have uh, Mega Man and Bass and Mega Man 1 for Game Boy, uh, well, Mega Man and Bass is for Game Boy Advance, and a little bit above that, you have... Um, Mega Man Extreme 1, 2, those are for Game Boy Color. And Mega Man Zero 1 through 4, uh, there is more 4 inch nail because I don't have a space. There are some SNES games here. These are Japanese SNES games. Yeah, let me see. Uh, Japanese SNES games, yeah. And there is Axel watching those Japanese SNES games because he's Axel. And then this game that doesn't exist. <laughs> now I'm gonna skip the middle and I'm just gonna show you the top of this. Uh, let me just zoom out. Uh, lots of 
Funko figures and then there's Mega Man Zero and then there is this thing here in the middle there you go yeah that thing in the middle that's also a Kickstarter reward for uh, the um, Red Ash um, oh goodness why can't you focus camera for the Red Ash anime uh, in fact there is only one of them and I happen to own it because I paid for it <laughs> and then there's tons of Funko things and uh, there's this uh, oh, there's the Mighty Number no. 9 NES USB um, there is you have a uh, ball nut over there you have roll over there there are some helmets on the background uh, there's here over there there is the plushie this is a Kickstarter exclusive reward um, and uh, that's a cell plushie and over here there's plenty more toys as you can see uh, let's roll over there and uh, all right let's see there is a gigantic Mega Man a gigantic zero a gigantic other zero and uh, one of these two is Marvel vs Capcom uh, infinite uh, collector's edition I don't know which one is which <laughs> now this row that I skipped over here let me zoom in a little bit these are all of my signed games by Keiji Inafune. You can see his signature, for example, right there. That black stuff, that's his signature. And uh, yeah, those are all my signed items. Just gonna show you very quick. I have more signed items, but these are the ones that I have on display because I don't have a space for the rest of them. Um, yeah, I'm very, very happy about these ones. And uh, that's it. Um, I think that's it. I might be, sh again, like I said, I'm gonna be showing off a few of these things again in the future. I just wanted to give you a quick trip of everything I have right now. And uh, I hope you enjoyed. Um, actually, give me a second, I'll be back. Okay, so I'm back and uh, this is just to give you a quick idea of how much space I don't have. Uh, this is one of the, uh, what do you call these cases where I keep stuff. Uh, you can see at the bottom there, there are some uh, um, Mega Man Anti-Warrior trading card game cards. There is some toy over there. If you look very carefully right there at the very bottom, you can see there is lots of books. I have plenty of books. <laughs> related to Mega Man and uh, here in the front um, there are like tons and tons of comics these are comics by Archie comics again I'll be showing those in a future episode but as you can see yeah there is like a ton of things that I just can't show you without going uh, without digging through all this stuff uh, so yeah so yeah that's it for today I hope you enjoyed and if you did, please uh, give me a like, uh, share, comment, and subscribe and all that good stuff. Um, thank you very much, and I'll see you next time.